Hey guys, just a quick vlog in response to a YouTube comment. Somebody asks, so what's Node.js's position in the whole development world? I said that I would use PHP for freelance work and for small and medium-sized web apps. I would use maybe Python Django for machine learning. Well, not maybe for AI machine learning. You could use it for web apps and you robotics. And I would use for enterprise, I would use Java and Java Spring for web apps. I would use or C Sharp ASP.NET for web apps. So he said, good question. Where does Node.js fall into this? You would use Node.js for the rare situation where you would need super fast, asynchronous web apps or make a messaging system, something where you, you, have, you don't want any latency, you don't want no lag time. That's where Node shines. Why I wouldn't use Node for the overall app? Because it's still a moving target. There's a lot of things that are changing in terms of server-side JavaScript. Node is a JavaScript-based. And so I wouldn't use it for that. I would rather use a much more mature framework that's stable, like a Spring on Java, like a Laravel on PHP, like a Django on Python, than something that's still developing quickly. And this is normal, by the way, when you see a new technology emerge and JavaScript on the server is relatively new, although JavaScript is a fairly old language in of itself, you're going to see rapid revolu evolution and change, and so it's, it can mess up your code, and I wouldn't use it except in very, very strict situations. And don't make the mistake, by the way, of thinking that your app is going to be the next Facebook or the next Google where you're going to need ultra high speed uh, communications between your server and the client, especially given how fast servers are today and so on. So keep that in mind. Uh, finally, a side news, uh, if you saw a vlog I did maybe a year or two ago, I forget now, I mentioned how I thought that Ruby was going to fade because Python was eating its lunch on one end and PHP was kicking it on the other end and it was going to get squeezed out. And sure enough, we're starting to see signs of that. One of the prominent boot camps, my feeling about boot camps aside, uh, they are actually removing their Ruby and Ruby on Rails training from their curriculum, replacing it with Java because they see the demand for Ruby developers is dropping. Again, because of Node, all the hipsters are going into Node and uh, everybody else is sticking where they want to stick, whether it be, you know, PHP or Java, et cetera, et cetera. So there you go. As I had predicted, uh, Ruby, though it uh, has many good qualities about it, not good enough, and so Python, PHP, and the rest are pushing it down. Finally, a little tip, a little developer tip. If you are a developer, do exercise every day. Consider your exercise to be as important as any other part of your day. So with that being said, I'm heading out to lunch. I always grab a late lunch, 1.30 or so, to avoid the uh, crowd, the rushes. And I'm going to jump on the bike, head downtown. So uh, if you haven't done any exercise today, do some. Otherwise, you will pay the heavy price of uh, being in bad shape, being less productive, and having more pain in your physical body. All right. We'll talk soon. Ciao.